100, you are still with your Feel Good Show right here on SABC3. Well, live, it's a Wednesday. You are just in time for your dose of Feel Good. And oh, so good it is today because the malls are in the building. Dr. Michael Moore, of course, he uh, does firmly believe that life is so much better when you're healthy. We all know that. And for years, Michael has been hitting our screens to simplify health and to make us understand what is happening in and around us. And this morning, he's going to be sharing some of his favorite health life hacks with us because, I mean, let's be honest, with COVID, we all need a bit of help there. And of course, some insights into how we should be protecting ourselves during lockdown level one and maybe beyond as well. <laughs> Dr. Michael Moore, I mean, we're all fatigued. We're yeah. all over COVID. I am. Yeah. I don't know about you, aren't you? I, I am. Um, and someone, <laughs> I, I read a beautiful meme the other day that mm. said, you know, hey, Doc, when's this COVID thing going to be over? And the response was, how do I know? I'm a doctor, not a politician. You know? well, and that's kind of where COVID's at at the yeah. moment. Well, the one thing you do know, I suppose, is how to protect ourselves and uh, put ourselves at a better space or in a, at an advantage during this time as we step into uh, to level Lisa, one. You're right. I mean, technically, if you look at COVID, mm. no, no vaccine, no immunity, yeah. no cure, you know, no treatment at the moment. Yeah. So what do we do? And people often ask, what? I do to boost my immunity and yeah. quite simply it's the basic pillars of good health is eat sleep and move eat more real okay. food less junk food that's okay. simple sleep at least seven hours a night yeah. and just exercise more and that uh, does as much as it can to boost mm. your immunity and make sure your, bo your body's operating perfectly. So that's really all you need to do. Well, let's sort of double click on the sleeping because I mm. think a lot of people aren't getting enough sleep, even with working from home. People are just uh, finding that they're having to juggle so much and there's so much disruption to our sleeping patterns. How important is sleep in sort of reducing our risks of contracting COVID-19? Let me tell you about sleep, Toby. So mm. the issue with sleep is testicles. Okay. As men, what, sorry? testicles. Okay. Yes. Men who sleep five hours or less have yeah. significantly smaller testicles than men who sleep seven Hang hours on. or more. Okay. Don't show us. I'm Don't checking. Check. <laughs> Just checking. Okay. But I think I get a bit more if I sleep. But, but it's true. I mean, if you're sleeping seven hours or more or less or five hours or less, your testosterone profile is that of someone 10 years your senior. So wow. sleep is really, really important. And from a COVID perspective, to yeah. answer your question, sleep affects something called T cells. Those are the cells that recognize those foreign invaders and yes. then kind of give the kill switch to say go and kill those things if we don't get enough sleep those t-cells are mm. suppressed so much so that they reckon if you're sleeping seven hours or less yeah. you have three chance or, or three times likely chance to get a oh. common cold to catch a virus so we've got to be sleeping and when you sleep to be so you've got to think yeah. batman dude cool dark quiet that's the best that's way it. just shut down shut down and get into it same time to sleep same time to wake monday through sunday <sighs> yeah. through sunday well, listen we're going to be getting lots of sleep during the summer season it's uh, fast approaching i'm seeing so many people that i'm having chats with making holiday plans for the summer what should we be doing to protect ourselves or getting ourselves ready i suppose from a health perspective as far as the summer season is concerned so i think it's less about getting your summer body because everyone talks about oh, that oh come on we no, all want to look we like do, you Dr. Oh, thank you come for that on. compliment you know <laughs> but it's more about about exercising more yeah. for good health. I mean, diabetes mm. is one thing. I'm sorry to bring that up, but mm. my word, we're all at risk for something called diabetes. It's yeah. a terrible disease. I don't want to get into that. Mm -hmm. But the beautiful thing about exercise is every little bit of exercise you and I do, to be so, mm. protects us from developing diabetes. In fact, for, for like 24 hours after every bit of exercise, our yeah. body has this life hack that allows us to get sugar out of our bloodstreams and into our bodies independently mm. of insulin. Uh, you know, it's a bit blah, blah, but the point is we're protecting ourselves from mm. one disease that is literally going to ravage the nation. So mm. this coming summer, exercise, yes, yeah. for your summer body, but yeah. mostly for yeah. inside yeah. and internal health. Yeah. I, I think I'm having such a good time throwing all of these random questions uh, at you, but somehow hopefully find a golden thread here. Uh, yeah. Coffee, all right? We live on a coffee, off coffee here every single morning. I mean, how many cups of coffee do we get through? Is this something we should so, all be concerned what, about? What a great question. You should yeah. not be concerned, all right? Okay. Coffee is the elixir of the gods. It was a great study that Harvard did yeah. over 10 years, 20,000 people looking at the benefits of coffee. And the bottom, bottom line was the more coffee you and I drink, the less yeah. chance we have of dying. Protects us from certain cancers Ooh. and Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and depression. Ooh. And it's not the caffeine, it's the polyphenols in coffee. Oh, wow. And that study went on to show, to be sure, that the... The, the, the optimal number of cups of coffee we should be having a day. Mm. And I don't know what you have, but six is the optimal number. Black coffee, no, none yeah. of the white stuff. No sugar, no milk, six cups six of coffee. Six cups. You'll live forever. Okay, let's talk about breakfast. 
For many years, I've heard you say, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Is that still the case <laughs> as we evolve? I hope you haven't universe? heard me say that because that's no, not I've the case. I've never heard you say no, that. Breakfast, I just made that up. <laughs> breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. It's something oh. our cereal companies have kind of put out there. It really isn't. Science is now showing people who skip breakfast yeah. have less issues with their weight and tend to be healthier. And it kind of ties in with intermittent fasting and keeping your insulin levels low. So despite what your mom wow. told us, Breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. We could go on and on and on, and I'm loving this so much. I really wish uh, we had more time to do that, but I can see that your son, Joshua, is just taking over the kitchen there and really just wanting to prepare a meal for us. For but of course, uh, the malls are in the house. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to still uh, 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 sort of poke your brain a bit more on these re really random Brilliant. questions. We'll talk about course. flossing next. Yeah. Flossing <laughs> next. Apparently, flossing isn't necessary, but we'll find out about that a bit later on. Connect with us on our Facebook, Espresso Money Show, SABC3, with any random questions for the good doctor. Yeah.